You guys may have seen this picture from the Charlottesville, Virginia Unite the Right rally protest. And it was this white guy. He has glasses. He's got a beard. He's holding a torch. And his shirt says Arkansas. Um, this was one that I had indeed seen prior. Um, but this is a roster. It says, they say, outed Charlottesville marcher says, seeing guys in khakis gave him impression neo-Nazi rally wasn't racist. So what he's saying is, is he didn't think that the rally was racist because they were wearing khakis. And I believe that they were wearing khakis be and polos because of what Trump wears. Um, that That's his, like, casual wear. So, Ross Story says, a man photographed marching alongside neo-Nazis during a rally at the University of Virginia says he didn't think the event was associated with racism. Kyle Quinn, a, an assistant professor at the University of Arkansas, was initially misidentified as the man wearing an Arkansas engineering shirt at a neo-Nazi march in Charlottesville, Virginia. He decided to leave his home over threats his family re was receiving. That is also another harsh criticism you can have of this kind of mob rule kind of thing. Is that they get it wrong quite a few times. We have talked about this a few times. It says, but the Arkansas Times correctly identified the man as 33-year-old Andrew M. Dodson. A former student at the University of Arkansas Engineering School, Dodson had enrolled in the graduate engineering program at the university from fall 2010 to 2013, but did not receive a degree. Now, normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't bag on anybody for not receiving a degree, but because he's a Nazi, I'm going to bag on him for it. Um, it says, Dodson told Arkansas Times that he traveled to Charlottesville to, quote, see who these alt right people were. Uh, he said he had heard they were racist, but was skeptical because he didn't trust the media. It's like the stupidest thing ever. Like, you take distrust in the media to a whole ridiculous level when it gets to this point. Effectively, there will be something that's just like cold hard fact, like somebody died. You say, well, I don't trust the media. It's fucking stupid. It says, Dodson was photographed carrying a torch while several hundred others marched on the main quadrangle of the University of Virginia's ground shouting, Jew will not replace us in blood and soil. Blood and soil is a Nazi chant, and Jew will not replace us, of course, also another, you could say, derived from Nazism and just anti-Semitism, period. And the chance we had heard during this rally was uh, quite frightening, really it was. And this guy, um, he talks about, he said he spoke to members of the Identity Europa, and they say that they're not, a, they're not um, associated with rights, white supremacists, when really they are white supremacists because white nationalism is white supremacy. And I think I've broken this down a few times, is that they are arguing for segregation, which is the same argument made back during the civil rights era. So they are supremacists because they think that not only their skin color is better, but also that their culture is better. Better. Now, the difference between something like um, being a white nationalist and someone else being a nationalist is that, you know, there's nationalism within anti-colonial movements but they're not racist. These people are racist because they're not anti-colonial and they're not fighting off any anything like that. So that that is why they are racist. We've talked about that in the Dinesh D'Souza segment, but this guy um, is indeed a moron. What's up, guys? It's Saul Hill here. You guys are watching the Progressive Voice. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below. We're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail, and we need your help.